Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Train Sim World 4. Well, I'm very excited today because we've got a new route to play with. We've got the uh, the Blackpool Branches route from Just Trains, which uh, has recently hit. I think it came on the 14th of November. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be having a look at this route and what it has to offer. £29.99 this route's going to set you back, so it's quite a lot. But from what I've seen, it looks absolutely fantastic. So we're going to choose a route today. There we go, Blackpool Branches. Uh, we're going to run a timetable service, obviously in the class 142. Uh, you've got different eras of the 142, so I think you've got the one with the uh, with the changing gearbox, the one with the new gearbox but with the old engine, and uh, and with the newest gearbox, the um, the what you call it, the uh, what what is it, the Voith gearbox with the Cummins engine. So we're obviously going to do that because it's fantastic. So we're going to start on the Manchester Victoria 929 to Blackpool service. It's approximately half an hour in length. Yeah, let's go. Uh, the Minecrafty style music is a little bit loud. I, I, I don't really like the menu music on this game, for goodness sake. It's, uh, it's it's not really necessary, is it? But there we go. Right, so drive this passenger service from Preston to Blackpool North. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to get the uh, get the get the key in. There we go. Spin that round, lovely. And that does actually spin all the way around. I thought that was a problem, but apparently uh, it is meant to do that. So you would turn it that way if you're going forward via the forward doodah. Yeah, you learn a new thing every day. Let's just get it all sorted like that. We're in the uh, in the tomato soup style livery, the uh, the orange from the Greater Manchester. And uh, one thing that you can do on this, I mean, you, you'll have to agree, it looks absolutely stunning. Really, really good looking train. I'm going to just use the windy handle. Look at that, it works. I love it. Right, there we go. We'll just wheel Blackpool North. There we go. So that's on the front. I think on the back, it doesn't turn as well. You actually have to go to the back to turn it. That's excellent. Uh, there's a couple of other things uh, you can uh, you can key in. You can use your DKS there, uh, like you could as a guard. I mean, I used to guard these many years ago. You can pop your key in there. Use your uh, use your door buttons there. That's absolutely brilliant. And of course, you have to shut your flap like that. I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic. You've got different areas, uh, different interiors. It's it's just really really good. Right. So we're going to sit down. Right, there we go. DSD pressed. There we go. So we're sat down. We're waiting to go. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, compared... To, there's direct competition here because obviously this is £29.99 We and it's set in uh, in times gone by. There is also this route for Train Sim Classic, uh, which is very, very good indeed. You've seen me drive that before in the past on Train Sim Classic. Uh, there is obviously now a Class 142 Pacer, for Train Sim Classic. Um, arguably, from what I've seen so far, I've had a little drive on this, uh, just a little drive to uh, to sort of, sort of, you know, just test it out before I go straight to recording. I, I think the, uh, the the Train Sim Classic one sells me more. Uh, I'm, I'm more sold by the Train Sim Classic. Oh, hang on. Right, so lock doors, wait for the green, lock right. But if you look, when the door's shut, look what happens. I'm not pressing anything. You get a little buzz buzz. That's awesome. It's the first... Alright, there we go. Where's the buzzer? Where's the buzzer? Come on, you know where the buzzer is. I mean, the sounds are really not great. There's no delay. Uh, and this is just maybe nitpicky here, really. Uh, but this doesn't sound like a class 142. And uh, obviously when you tap power, there's no delay between that, the engine spooling up. I mean, like I say, it looks like all trends in world things. It looks absolutely fantastic. It really does. And then we're leaving Preston Station now. It looks ace. It, it, it's fantastic. But yeah, I just think the sounds do let it down a little bit on this. Right, hang on. We'll have, uh, there we go. We'll have a screenshot. Because you know I love a good screenshot. Right, we'll, uh, we'll zoom in. I mean, yeah, it, it just doesn't sound like a pacer. I mean, it's got the bounce. Look, I, I love the flange as well. The bounce on it. Look at the bounce. It's ace. And if we, uh, if we... If we nip through into, say I, I go back and look in here, right, hang on, how do we, there we go, so if I sit like this, oh, hang on, there we go, we'll, uh, we'll pop ourselves in the middle, look at the bounce, the passenger's whizzing up and down, that's absolutely awesome. There is a link in the description if you wish to go and, uh, and check this out. Oh, and another thing, ah, oh, while we're, uh, oh, look, pacer on the left there, lovely, look at the bounce. Oh, how annoyed they all look. There's a lot of people in uh, in the northwest of England with ginger moustaches. That's another thing I've noticed. 
Uh, we've got a ginger moustache on the left here, ginger moustache on the right, ginger moustache over there. Everybody seems to have ginger moustaches. Got Tina Turner on the left there, she's off to Blackpool for the day. Oh, hang on, I'm speeding, right, hang on. Now, we'll, uh, we'll pop a bit of step one in. There we go. Right, there we go. Yeah, I'd reported this as a bug, uh, but it turns out it's not a bug. I think I'd not pressed the SD pedal, but when I was putting it in step one, it was making me stop. It was really annoying, actually. Uh, the brakes do seem a little bit too good. Uh, the tread brakes on Trendsome Classic are done to an absolute T. And again, I think it just accelerates a little bit too quickly for a pacer. Just my personal preference. I'd like to see it just sort of a little bit of that power just taken off a little bit. But you can't deny you, you're in a pacer. You, there's absolutely, you know, the feeling there uh, is you, you can tell what you're meant to be in, can't you? The modelling is absolutely sensational. And, ooh, here's another funky little feature I like. You can make PA announcements. I mean, you can't make PA announcements, but if you click the public address, you can just about hear that. And you can click it a few different times, and you get different ones. We will shortly be arriving at the next station stop is... You know, and it sort of randomises it. That's absolutely fantastic. I love that. Uh, obviously, the driver doesn't make the announcements, but uh, it's nice that it sound, sort of sounds like it's playing through a speaker behind you. That's nice. That's really nice. Uh, you don't get the RPM. I think that just shows you what gear you're in. You're in second gear. But, uh, yeah, very, very quick, uh, this pacer, if you look, compared to perhaps the... Because it was... Oh, dear, excuse me. Flipping it. Oh dear. Can't exactly blame a high pollen count in November, can I? Um, yeah, I think perhaps compared to maybe maybe when they were newer they were quicker. Maybe over the years they've lost horsepower. But yeah, I just feel it's a little bit too quick, you know, up to 75. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. There we go. Right, we'll ease off a little bit. Uh, yeah, I, I do sort of feel... And the brakes are just a little bit too good as well. Just a, a teeny weeny bit. They could just do with editing that script to make it a little bit less uh, efficient, I think would be uh, the best way of putting it. But yeah, do you know what? If you want Trenton World and, uh, and you're a bit of a fan of the North West, this is absolutely recommended from me. I love it. Uh, I'm assuming it will be coming to consoles if it hasn't already. I'm just going to uh, ease off a little bit because we're still speeding. But yeah, you're really, really good. Uh, I, I do... As always, I feel like there's a little bit of a missed opportunity here. It's a shame they've done it in the era that they've done it, but I do understand why they've done that, because obviously it's a lot easier with licensing. But it is a bit of a shame. I mean, can we get another nice screenshot? I mean, you know I love a screenshot. Right, get out there. The problem is, is the time of day is a little bit naff, isn't it? For uh, But I think, can we... Is the, There was a way, I'm sure there was a way that we could... Uh, Photo mode, there we go. Aha! Right. Oh no, hang on, that takes a screenshot. I didn't mean to do that. Hide overlay. Oh no, hang on. Right, bring that back. How did we do the settings before? There was a way we could do that. Field of view. I thought we could, uh, thought we could change the, uh, the time of day. What's the show grid? No, that's not what I wanted. Never mind, but, I mean, that is, right, field of view. Hang on, depth of field. Not that one. Field of view, lovely, right, we want to zoom in there, lovely, oh, ace, absolutely ace, right, save that, lovely, right, back to it, why are we outside the window, get your head back in, oh, I didn't know you could do left and right there, that's ace, right, we're having another photo of that, there we go, photos of them together, fantastic, right, uh, right, that's not going to work, is it, we'll go down the other end, Get a nice photo like that. Oh, the provincial livery does look awesome, doesn't it? Look at that. Get, get down in the grass a little bit. Oh, that's a that's a winner. Yeah, sorry, we're, we're going to be here a while, people. Yeah, that's not so good. You can't see the 142 when you're in the grass. How about if we if we do from up above? That's a nice one as well. Lovely. Right, save that. Go, go. Back in the, back in the cab. On the way. Where's the next station? Kirkham and Wesham. 
I like the fact it's not too loud either. It's it's quiet enough that you're not sort of it's not too intrusive. It's nice. I like it. So uh, yeah, let's just have a look while we're here. What do you actually get for your money? So if we flick out there, this is the route map that you get. You get Preston. Uh, you get down to Ormskirk as well. Is that is that what we've got down here? Is, is Ormskirk somewhere there? I believe uh, that's very much down this line. We've got Blackpool North over here and uh, Blackpool South, and then there's another line up here. I wish it was like Trends and Classic where it actually labelled what the things are on the map. That would be quite useful, but uh, obviously it doesn't. Bouncing away, we've got Salwick. Salwick, Salik. I don't know how you say that, Salwick probably. Not calling there today. The next stop is... Kirkham and Wesham. You do also get quite a few scenarios that come with this. I think, is it four scenarios? There was a bit driving uh, Class 47's local old services. Um, there's a service where you drive for the Blackpool Illuminations, a special service. Um, but of course, with the 142 being new, we had to drive the 142, didn't we? It was absolutely imperative we checked out the 142. Yeah, if you sort of uh, toss up, you know, if, if you've only got Trent in World, then yeah, I absolutely recommend this. But if you're going to ask me, look, what do you recommend between this or the Trent in Classic 142, the Trent in Classic 142 every day of the week? Because of course, this same route, all right, minus the Ormskirk uh, branch, but Preston to Blackpool North uh, is a freeway route for Trent in Classic, so you could buy the old 142. If you've got both games, I would obviously recommend the Trenton Classic over the two. I just think it's a bit better. You've got more variety, you've got more modern liveries, older liveries. The sounds are absolutely spot on where the sounds on this are not as good as I think they could be. Uh, that said, it's still an enjoyable drive. It, it's a bit of an odd one because of course Armstrong Powerhouse have played a part in this. It's odd that they haven't sent them the sounds as well. It's just odd. Right, here we go. Slowing down for Kirkham and Wesham. In fact, slowing down. A bit more braking, please, for the uh, for the 45. There we go. Right, a bit more of that. We're absolutely belting him. What time are we doing? Right, hang on guard. That's the first time that we are actually shortly arriving into Kirkham and Wesham. Right, let's, uh, let's have a bit more... Oh, we've got plenty of time, haven't we? We've got uh, a minute and a half. Yeah, loads of time. Quite nice as well, Trenton World 4. It hasn't put the, uh, the stop marker. It's obviously got that stop marker, but it hasn't put the, the little carriage... You know, the, the rainbow-coloured carriage doodars on the ground that you have to always go and, uh, and get rid of. It hasn't done that, so that's quite nice. Yeah, I can't help but... I mean, those brake squeals are awesome. Look at that. Well, I said look at that. Listen to that. Lovely. Right, okie dokie. Unlock right. There we go. As always with Trends in World, it really is a shame that they've not like managed to input some sort of guard. Hell, that's practically level boarding, isn't it? Uh, some sort of guard functionality. It's nice that you do get the eh, eh, the uh, the buzzer from the back when you shut your doors. That's really nice. Is nobody getting on? No. But it would be nice if they managed to somehow input so that as soon as you came to a stop, the uh, the guard will fling the doors open. That'd be pretty awesome. It's just a bit of a shame that they don't do that, but it's one of those, isn't it? Maybe one day. Never say never. Hmm. I wonder, what actually is our, uh, our stopping pattern? So we're going Kirkham and Wesham. Pont Lafayette, Leighton. Wow, we're stopping at Leighton. It's 
It's uh, not got the most services late, and has it? Most go Polton Lafield and then next stop Blackpool North. Of course, this is set in the era where uh, the uh, the local hold services down this line are uh, are diminishing. Obviously, we've got things like the pacer trains, the sprinter trains are yet to come in, I believe. But uh, I don't know what era we're in. Well, I know what era we're in. I don't know what year we're in. Are, we, are sprinters a thing yet? I don't know. I don't know if sprinters are a thing. Right? Are we are we getting a signal? Because it's telling me to close the doors, and it was red. Right? Get them shut. No hustle alarm either, which is a bit odd. There we go. But then again, in this this era of doors, did they have a hustle alarm? I don't know. I'm not too sure, to be honest with you. Or did they just close? Because obviously these have got the older uh, bifolding doors, as opposed to the newer doors. Who knows? Let me know in the comments if you do know the answer to that one, because uh, this is a little bit before my time. Did they used to beep? Is that something we're missing? Or uh, is it absolutely spot on? Look at this route with the, the golden sort of colour of the autumnal leaves on the trees. It looks absolutely incredible. I love it. Right, hang on, we'll just ease off a little bit there. Right, so we've got a left-hand bend here. I wonder where that goes. Is that the line to Blackpool South, I wonder? Let's have a look. Yes, that's the line that goes off to Blackpool South there. We're, of course, going to Blackpool North. So we're staying on. Obviously, a lot more track there than there is now. Flipping heck. Really not a lot of track there now, is there, in comparison? Right, 30 mile an hour over to the right. Lovely. Right, okay, over we go. Flange sounds absolutely spot on there. Big fan. Big fan of that. Right, off we go. Into notch 7. Semaphore signalling as well. Absolutely lovely. Some sort of ruins on the right hand side there. That looks like uh, looks like it definitely was something in times gone by. I mean, even now it's, it's nothing anymore. Maybe some sort of water house for steam trains. I don't know. Sheep in the field on the right hand side there. When you think the the one four twos really were quite the downgrade, weren't they? When you look and you've got things like local hold stock, you know, class 45s, class 47s, whizzing up and down here with the Rekha Mark 2s on, you know, arguably a lot more comfortable than a 142. You can't help but notice how much of a sheer downgrade it was. Could you imagine if one day you were travelling to work in first class on a, uh, in, a, in a Mark 2 or a Mark 2A coach, and then all of a sudden this rocks up? You'd be livid, wouldn't you? Especially if you had a first class season pass. Right, here we go, so. Oh yeah, nice dual semaphore signal there. Oh, hang on, we're speeding. I thought it was 75 down here. Bit of braking, please. I have a feeling that in these days of, like, British Rail, that speeding, so long as there was no accident, it was, it was probably a lot more allowed. I don't know. You know, nowadays they're, they're very, very strict on things like that, but it just strikes me as the sort of thing, whereas if you did that and you accidentally went five minutes, it was like, oh, well, no harm done. I like how the telegraph pole. Are these telegraph poles? I like how they're all wonky. No two of them are absolutely straight. That's ace. Oh yeah, they are telegraph poles, look. They look like they're not being used anymore. 
Partly because there's no wires. Yeah, that's really, really nice. And look, that sign's on a bit of a, a wonk as well. That's ace. Oh. Oh, you, you can take it out of gear. Oh, if you take it out of gear, it dumps the brakes. I, I don't think you can take them out of gear while on the move, can you? Oh, well, we're stopping now. No, nothing. Even if we put it into emergency and back out again, nothing. Oh, well. Hell, it comes to a stop quick. I don't think pace has stopped quite this quick, but uh, but we'll... Obviously, this is when they were far off being new. Wow, look at that. And it even slides. Right, okie dokie. Look at this off the mark. See, this is what I mean. Perhaps just a little bit quick off the mark. Just a wee bit quick. If they just slowed it down a little bit, I think we'd be a bit better. But like I say, when these were new, maybe they were a bit quicker. Who knows? Oh, we're going to be late now at Poulton La Fylde. Note to self, don't take it out of gear again, Joe. Yeah, otherwise we'll, uh, we'll come to quite a quick stop. change of gear there and of course if you look the line at Portland La Fylde that, that branches off here does appear to be actually in I, I'm pretty sure is that disused now or is it just a freight line I don't think it's used for passenger traffic is it well, we've got a car on the left hand side there I, uh, I don't know what that was it looks sort of like a BMW from the front but I'm, I'm not too sure Up to full chat again. Come on. Come on, little pacer. Arguably, the time of day would look a lot better if we uh, if we took the photo from the back. Look at the clag coming out the top. That's ace. All right, we'll have a bit of coasting now. We uh, we're going downhill. Yeah, a 0.2% gradient. Lovely. Bit of flange again, excellent. What's this? There's some sort of train coming the other way. I can just make out the shape of it. Is it a pacer though? I hope it is. I really like the little pacers shuttling up and down on this line. Do you know what? Now that I've driven it, I'd, I think it's quite nice. I'd, I'm enjoying this route. Oh, it's not a uh, it's not a train, is it? I thought that was it. It's a it's a box. It's just a box. Oh, there is a train though. What's this? Class forty seven, is it? In intercity livery? Was it regional railways? Yeah, it's intercity. The rare can mark ones and twos on the back. Lovely. Fantastic. It's got intercity branding, even though it's BR blue and grey. Oh, hang on. Get the telephone pressed. The next stop is Poulton La Fylde. Poulton La Fylde? He sounds happy to be in Poulton La Fylde, doesn't he? Again, so many more tracks. I'm pretty sure this track on the left isn't still here, is it? Have we got rid of that? Love those flange sounds. Absolutely awesome. Right, so of course we've got the two semaphores here. One of them showing a red and one of them showing a, uh, a green. Now, uh, if you're not too hot on your semaphore signals, there's a reason for that. So, as you can see, 
Like on modern signals, you'd end up with a feather on the top showing which way you were going to go. Now, obviously, we don't have that on these signals, these uh, these older signals. So the taller signal is the main line, so the main line round to the left. And the, uh, the shorter signal is for the branch line on the right-hand side. So because we're going to the left, the taller signal is up. And if we were going to the right... If we were going to the right, that'd be up. So we can proceed. It's a green aspect. I didn't give him two, did I? Right, full steam ahead. We've got a bit of time to make up. So yeah, if you're uh, if you're not too up on your semaphores, that's the reason for that. Right, okie dokie. Ease off a little bit around the 20. The flange sounds are absolutely awesome. I can't get over that. I would argue the flange sounds were a lot better than in Trendsome Classic. I don't think in Trendsome Classic uh, the flange is loud enough. Right, off we go. Leighton, 1.7 miles. Look at the old street light there, that's ace. Looks like it's made out of concrete, doesn't it? Yeah, it really is such a pretty route, and I mean, I want to spend a lot of time, I mean, you've got to drive it from the driving cab, obviously, but I just want to spend a lot of time looking around like this, because it just looks awesome. Really pretty route. I just, I, I do feel, oh, hang on, yeah, we're, uh, yeah, speeding. Speeding again. Stop looking at the pretty route, and focus on what's happening out the window, thank you. There we go, back into full power. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd, it's such a shame that this isn't like set more in the modern day, because if this was set with the Bellio Northern, you could have the Pacer, and you've also got the 158, haven't you? So you could just have the Pacers and 158s on it. And of course the 150, you could do that. I mean, I never liked that 150 on, uh, on West Cornwall Local. I thought it was abhorrent to drive. Absolutely awful. Uh, but if they'd, you know, if they'd sort of done a bit more... Bit of tweaking with that. It, three trains, that'd be more than enough, wouldn't it? In a Bellio Northern livery. You've got the HST. No, they didn't run up here though, did they? Yeah. Ignore that. Ignore the HST comment. Right, 0.8 miles. We'll have a little bit of braking for that. And of course, Leighton is right outside Blackpool, isn't it? It's, I mean, practically there by the time you get to Leighton. Can anyone see the tower yet? I've not seen the tower. Was the tower there in the 60s? Yes, of course it was. Don't be an imbecile. Of course the tower was there in the 60s. Can't see it yet. Have we driven to the right Blackpool? Yeah, you've, you've slowed down way too early. Come on, Joe. Oh, I can see the tower. It was just to the left of that tree. If you don't believe me, rewind it. Just, just there. But obviously it's about here now. There we go. Going way too slowly. It's no wonder you're running late. Right, there we go. A little bit more braking. Excuse me. Right, here we go. Straight into Leighton now. Arguably looks to be a lot more going on at Leighton than, than what there is now. Perhaps it used to be a bit more, you know, there used to be a bit more going on than what there is. Right, there we go, so unlock left, let's, uh, let's get them all, lovely. I mean, we're having another screenshot there, look at that, lovely, gorgeous. Oh, hang on, right, lock the doors. Full steam ahead into Blackpool. Right, so we've got a red signal coming up. 
I do think the engine sounds on this sound a little bit like the uh, the Dovetail Games Voyager that you get. Not the Just Trains one, the Dovetail Games Voyager for uh, for Train Sim Classic. They sound a little bit sort of nondescript, don't they? Where are we going next? Go via location, Blackpool North, down Main. Right, so 15 is coming up. Is that for us now? It doesn't have any sort of speed I wonder. No? We've got Pacer coming out there. Lovely. Oh, it's in the skipper livery. Lovely, lovely stuff. Right, we've got a yellow there. And then we're going on to a red, obviously, so we'll, uh, we'll start slowing down for that. In fact, we're going uphill, aren't we? So we can probably coast. There's the tower! Just on the left-hand side of the windscreen. I mean, I'm assuming we can stop at this location, can't we? Oh, look, you've got a peak on the right-hand side there, class 45. Lovely. Oh, and that's our red signal. Right, so we need to stop there. Well, it says go via. It doesn't say to stop, does it? Look at that. I mean, the sidings are massive, aren't they? I know that here they store the 331s now, don't they? But uh, I, I don't know if there's as many roads as what there used to be here. <laughs> Excuse me. Right, hang on. Driver's flipping, nodding off. Right, there we go. Are we going to get a, a road in? There we go, right. Honestly, I need my morning coffee. I tell you, this is like I've got up early. Well, not early. I've, I've not got up early. I've got up earlier than I probably would have done on my day off. Because uh, I was working yesterday, which is why there's no video... Uh, no video was done yesterday. But, uh, yeah, I was working, so I've, I've got up. We're recording the video. It's excellent. Blackpool looking absolutely fantastic there. I mean, this has all changed, hasn't it? Massively. I mean, we've got, you know, industry. Where's the big Sainsbury's? In fact, is that the big Sainsbury's? It might be there. That might be what is now the Sainsbury's. Hey, I don't know. Right, well, that is where we're going to end it for today. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, as I say, the 142 is decent to drive. Doesn't sound particularly great, but uh, yeah, it's a decent model. Uh, and there's a couple of nice features. What does Blackpool say? where this train terminates. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, yeah, but it's an alright drive. The route is absolutely fantastic and obviously you've got your, your local hold, things like that. If you're more into your modern day, as I say, to sum up, uh, I would, if you've got Train Sim Classic and Train Sim World, just get the 142 or find strong powerhouse and stick with Train Sim Classic. But if you are just Train Sim World, uh, yeah, there's absolutely no reason you shouldn't get this. £29.99, there's a link in the description. I would absolutely go and check it out. But uh, yeah, if you do, if you'd be so kind as to uh, as to sling a like at the video, that would be lovely. And uh, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing. We're going to be coming back to this definitely, maybe on some sort of live stream at some point. Uh, but yeah, definitely coming back to this. So uh, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Other than that, as I say, thank you so so much for watching. Hopefully, I shall uh, I shall see you all next time. Cheerio. Goodbye for now.